In today's video, we're going on an epic road trip to Thailand's biggest national park. Whoa, 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 Chris, Chris. It's not the biggest. It is, however, the first one ever incorporated. I stand corrected. We're going on a road trip to the third biggest national park in Thailand. I can't wait. Gonna get some epic drone shots for you guys. What, what am I, just a, a drone pilot? <laughs> oh, that's it? <laughs> I, I, well, that, this is gonna be awesome. Boys motorbike road trip. Let's do this. Let's do this. Off a waterfall. Dana is always a good tour guide. Dana, what's the name of this waterfall? It's a uh, something, something waterfall. It's on the map. I'll find it later. <laughs> We're gonna go with something, something waterfall. All right, Dana's pulled off the road. Must be time for lunch. Let's see what he's got for us. And I saw a place that said homemade pizza. I jammed on the brakes and skidded in here. What's it supposed to say? It's supposed to say Evie May, which is my name. So the, so this is your resort? <laughs> really? So the E fell off the sign? Is that what happened? <laughs> yeah. When you get outside Bangkok, things get a little cheaper. A large Leo, 80 baht. You could have got a small one for 40. And I got this giant pizza for 240 baht. What's going on in the farmhouse up there? Let's pull in and find out. What is that? We go to the closest store, we buy bags of beers, and we go take them back. Let's uh, see if we can start a bit of a party in the cockfight. <laughs> Anybody want beer? Beer for everybody! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Oh yeah, get in there, everybody in, look at all's well that ends well day one we uh managed to make it back we've, we've brightened the day of the neighborhood they're gathering they're getting riled behind me here this is a local thai tradition cockfighting in the neighborhood we thought why not join in have a little fun a little afternoon beer we'll find a hotel we hope this was my first cockfight and what I learned is that after each round they take them back to their respective corners they give them some quick repairs some rest but then it's right back in the ring for another round and that's when we decided to hit the road again did find a hotel and it's this really cool place called the hidden box so these are all shipping containers you got one here one here and then one up here with a patio each one is a bedroom I'll show you the room I'll show you the place but I got something more important to do first well welcome to Dana's patio red ants come included i guess dana nice little patio here's a little uh, housewarming gift Thank for you, you sir to another adventure
restaurant right on the southeast corner. We've just feasted and I'm here with one of the family owners. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name's Shasha. And your food is so good. Thank you. Yes, what's your specialty here? Moon steak. Moon steak? Moon steak. It's like a bullshit. It's you know, a, it's you like know, which? Bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit. Pop. <laughs> oh. French. <laughs> <laughs> Day one was awesome. Oh, is that my underwear hanging on the wall? Oops. See you tomorrow. Ooh. Welcome to day number two. This is an exciting day because we're going to be going right into this national park. We'll get into that. It's going to be a day full of exploring this national park. We'll learn about it together. But we're just checking out here a hidden box. This place was 850 baht a night. Not too bad. I woke up thinking about what we did yesterday, the cockfights. That was my first time ever at a cockfight. And it leaves you thinking things. First of all, I felt a little bit sorry for the chickens. And secondly, I didn't feel any urge to judge the locals and, and, and the Thai culture that this is a big part of. You know, cockfighting happens all over Thailand, huge part of Thai culture. And I didn't feel any need to judge that. I actually had a blast. One of the things I love about living in Asia is that I find myself being less judgmental of differences, other cultures, that sort of stuff. Curious how the cockfighting made you feel. I do feel a little sorry for the chickens, but hey, cordon bleu. Now, we're about to get rolling. We're hoping the rain holds off. But before we really start, there's one word that I want to hear come out of Dana's mouth. Ready to go get some coffees? <laughs> <laughs> What's the time for? Coffee. So Dana, you recommend the coffee in OJ? It's a great morning starter, absolutely. All right, well, Adam's never tried it before. First sip, let's get the reaction. Oh, that's good. I don't know. I think that's like the Hawaiian pizza. But anyway, this coffee shop's amazing. Adam's our dedicated Google Maps guy. He found this place. Look at where it is. It's on this reservoir. But to get here, we had to come through a military checkpoint. So Adam talked our way through there. This has a bit of a vibe of the Chiang Mai University Reservoir, the Ang Kao Reservoir. Remember that place? gorgeous way to start the day and I think that the rest of the day is just going to keep getting better and better. Toasty. Toasty. I got two pieces of fruit because I'm healthy. Two pieces of fruit in the form of pineapple pie. Park. Let's see how much it costs. Twenty cap. Tell that. Tell that crap. All right, two hundred and twenty baht. It used to be four hundred, but they've uh, reduced the price a little bit, and we're in. Right, first stop waterfall. You are the guy who makes the YouTube channel, right? Oh, yes. Can I help you? Yes, of course. So let me cap. What's your name? I am King. King. We've, we're about to stop at the first stop the waterfall, but we met some uh, Thai subscribers here, so this is cool. complains about dual pricing one price for ties one price for foreigners get a life you know what get a life pay the 200 baht six dollars for a majestic park you can't go wrong yeah i don't mind it at all i feel lucky to live here yeah. and if we're talking about an extra couple hundred baht to enjoy everything this country has to offer it doesn't bug me i love it 
Yeah, I'd say this is worth 200 baht, and we're only 10 minutes in. So we're driving today from the southern gate where we entered. 10 minutes in, we're treated to this. And we're gonna go all the way up and uh, to the north side of the park today. We're gonna kinda rate, cut the park in the middle, and we're gonna see what else is here to enjoy. But this place called the Heo Narok Waterfall is definitely worth a visit. Tallest waterfall in the whole park. About a 30 minute walk to get down here. But man, oh man, was it ever worth it. minister's rest house back here but no luck it's like a ghost town in here so things about getting into a national park is the smell of that fresh air. It's just, ah, oh, it's invigorating. So what do you got? Can go to the viewpoint? Okay, you, next, the, no, no, in, next. Oh, just no. parking here, right yeah. here? Yeah. Okay, cup cap. cap. We've made it to the highest elevation here in the park, 1,200 meters at uh, a big lookout. You can't really see it today because it's misty, but the view out of the valley floor down there is amazing. Got a little sprinkle of rain. Almost uh, time to find a place to stay and, a, and some place to eat dinner. And uh, as you drive around, you'll notice people stopped in clumps. There's probably been an elephant sighting in that case. Little tip for you though, there's three professional nature photographers and they immediately grabbed their gear and hightailed up that hill up there. So I'd follow any nature photographer because uh, they seem to be the ones that know what they're doing. I call drive-through Thai style. She's making up the end of day roadie. Adam's inside the 7-Eleven getting the end of day beers. Sun's just setting over there. And our hotel is 300 meters that way. All right, morning, day three. Stayed at this place, which was pretty nice. The Norn Chill Hotel, 1,200 baht per night. And we're right kind of close to the northern gate here in Khao Yai, which is the busiest gate. It's the one where all the tour buses come. It's like the epicenter of this whole national park. Tons of hotels, big restaurants. Uh, it was okay, but I like it a little quieter. So today we're heading to the very east end of the park where not many people go. And I'm excited to see what the day brings. Day three, Khao Yai. Most 95% of people go through that, just that one road in Khao Yai and that's it. That's their Khao Yai experience. This whole eastern edge 
phenomenal. That fish is insane. I have Penang mushroom, Penang hat. Adam has Penang guy, which is what made me think to get Penang hat. Cause I was like, God, Penang sounds good. Nice fried omelet here, Kaijiao. Look how sexy that looks. Oh yeah. I and mean, that's sexy, but nothing compares to this right here. Look this at this. This fish is out of this world. Yeah, she was in the back. First, she grills it up, cubes it. You get this cubed meat here. And then what do they put on top? It's lemongrass, it's bergamot, there's some chili in there. I think it's a little taro. I mean, yeah, it is. Yeah, look at this, little clumps. I'm just gonna take that from you like that. Oh yeah, go for it. What does that taste like? Bergamot in my mouth, Chris. Mm. Oh my God. And the best part is we're, we're on the northern, northern tip of Cali. I, we're heading towards the northeast corner. But look at the setting. Little roadside restaurant here. Friendly, friendly locals. Cooking everything up, explaining it to us. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Day three is my favorite day so far. What's your name? Uh, my name is John. John? John Wick. Nice. John Wick. John Wick. Oh, no. not John. Oh, oh. nice. <laughs> Good channel. Thank you. Uh, I, I say land. I like you. Nice. You very much. So we made it out to the, the, the southeastern part of the park. We're meeting subscriber here. I'm calling him John Wick. <laughs> Welcome to Thailand for Bajin. So it's turned into an impromptu Khao Yai subscriber meetup out here. Just a one person meetup by the waterfall. We are at the southeast end of Khao Yai Park. It's gotten very local very quickly. And it was awesome to bump into John. Cheers to you, John, subscriber from way out here. As we rode out of the deepest part of the park, I realized that what I love most about these motorbike trips is that it feels like you're on a Disney ride where the world just keeps changing before your eyes. Always something new to see. But this ain't no Disney ride. This is real life. This is Thailand. And as the sun began to set, we found a hotel, pulled in, booked a few rooms. This was another nice place, only 900 baht a night. This road weary traveler got one more good night's sleep, then we woke up for our final drive home. All right, the final morning, man. We're on our way back to Bangkok. Yeah. Got one question. What was your favorite thing that we did? Epic day three ride up on the northern border of Kaliai, just like getting into those little back roads and like the, the things that most people don't see, all that 
both the temples, everything is amazing. Yeah, that was awesome. And Adam, Adam, what was your favorite thing? Yeah, I like day two, driving through the nature up yeah. the center of Kauai and some pit stops here and there. That was fun. What we showed you was like a bit of a highlight reel. But for me, the favorite thing is always the company. Yeah, hanging, the with, hanging with you guys is amazing. To be able to do this with these guys is great. If you want to see a whole other angle on this, check out Idea Studio, Dana's channel over on YouTube. He's got a different view of this whole thing. And uh, Adam's been busy putting some of our favorite spots. Only the best in Teeny. Yes, sir. So uh, go check out the Teeny app. I can't wait to do this again, fellas.